And fresh off of Super Tuesday, many of the other Republican candidates are now ready to battle it out in the state of Florida. With the winner set to take home all 99 Florida delegates, the stakes here are very high. As CBS 4's Natalia Zaya shows us, the candidate who may need the Sunshine State the most is Florida's own Senator Marco Rubio. Florida Senator Marco Rubio cast his ballot at West Miami City Hall Wednesday, the same small government building where he got his political start in 1998. So it's an incredible privilege and honor to be able to vote for myself for president just a few blocks from where I grew up. Despite only winning one state on Super Tuesday, he's sounding positive about his chances in Florida. It's my home and we're going to win Florida. We feel great about it. I know he really needs to win Florida. I think Republican analyst and former Jeb Bush campaign frontman Justin Safey underscored the point that Florida may be do or die for the Rubio camp. Rubio's already announced the plan to open campaign offices in Jacksonville, Orlando, and Tampa tomorrow. To win his home state, that will give his campaign a huge boost if he's able to do it. But that may be a challenge. Various polls show him in second place behind Donald Trump. Second place gains you no delegates in Florida. So if Marco Rubio isn't able to win the state of Florida outright, he won't get take any delegates out of Florida. Of course, Florida isn't only important to Rubio. Once we get all of this finished, I'm going to go after one person. That's Hillary Clinton on the assumption she's allowed to run. All the candidates would like to win the 99 delegates up for grabs. But Safey believes on the Republican side, Ted Cruz and John Kasich may skip Florida altogether. Rubio and, and Trump are the two front runners in Florida. And it's such a big, expensive state. You can take the resources you put in Florida and you can you know, spend them around three other states for the amount of money you would spend trying to win Florida. And voter rich Miami Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach may specifically be at the center of the campaign action. I would say for sure they need to focus on uh, voters' concerns in South Florida. Florida's primary is March 15th and voting has already begun. We can expect to see a lot more candidate visits here in Florida and specifically here in South Florida. And we'll soon likely see those campaign ads on this station and others in the coming days. Natal Gazea, CBS 4 News.